Hmm, what a curious petitioner you are. Not of the Fae, nor of the denizens of this new world. Send it away, then. Fey law is not for foreigners. On the contrary, Oneril. Though its rules differ for Fey and non, Fey law applies to all within the One True King's domain. Come, Petitioner. Step up to the podium. Hail, stranger. I am Savon, speaker of the One True King's Council. State your nature and business for the record, please. Your nature, yes. What are you exactly? You're not one of the... well, what do they call themselves? The Dran, are you? <laughs> Neither Fey nor Dran. How very curious. Tell us more about this Earth. Oh, Niel, you waste our time. The Fey have more imperative matters that require our attention. Oneril speaks true. Please. Petitioner, briefly state your business before the Council. Great power, you say. And why would you seek such entities? Do you speak of killing the Fey? They did not specify their prey, Nael. In any case, the Fey have been left with only political power. Not power of the kind you seek. Hmm. Unless you're both wrong, and they seek the imposter. Immaterial! This council cannot aid the petitioner in any way. Given our current troubles, we bear neither the desire nor the means. You have wasted quite enough of our time, foreigner. The Fey have far more important concerns than you before us. M uh, hold a moment, Oneril. Perhaps this stranger could be of use to us. The Fey presently live in fear and uncertainty, stranger. The one true king has been usurped by an imposter, aided by one of those seated before you. But we know not which. As an independent party, you might find clarity where we have failed. Will you help us? Hold! I do not accept. This is a foreigner. Hardly more than a mute beast. The law does not allow such to conduct investigations or judgments on our behalf. Have you ever considered, Oneril, that our job is to make the law? Both arguments are heard and deemed irrelevant. We do not ask them to make judgment, only to aid in an investigation that we have voluntarily foregone. The law supports this. A great tragedy, stranger. For eons, the Fey and this council have faithfully served the one true king. But alas, his rule has been curtailed. The imposter, Faelin or Feyrin or whatever they call themselves now, placed the king in an eternal slumber from which he cannot be woken. The king was attacked in his own chambers, behind this very door. The imposter could not have entered without aid from a member of this council. But, of course, we all have our alibis, as you can imagine. None of us were here. This has been proven many times. If you can find any evidence tying one of us to this tragedy or to the imposter, then Fey justice might be done. It won't be enough, Savan. The imposter still sits upon the throne. Yet, it will be a step and a necessary one toward restoring order among the Fey. It means you are not Fey, and your life is easily forfeit. Please, Oneril. Stranger, we will discuss the conditions of your accusation if and when you choose to make one. We do not. This farce does nothing. Peace, Oneril. The law is clear on this point, as you well know. I will answer your question, stranger. With a traitor among us, trust has shattered. If any of us were to produce evidence at this stage, it would be suspect by all. And rightly so. Either of you would love any excuse to remove me from the Council. 
And you do not wish to hold half the Council's power yourself, Onoriel. <laughs> you cannot pretend it isn't true. Regardless, stranger, you are not from this world, either of these worlds. So any evidence you bring would be free from the suspicions which we have cast upon ourselves. Precisely my point. This foreigner may have any number of reasons for accusing any one of us. Which is why, if and when evidence is produced, we alone will pronounce the final judgment. And if that evidence has been falsified? Tainted? How do I know one of you has not paid this interloper to act on your behalf? Onoriel, only you assume that everyone is as unscrupulous as yourself. Not everyone seeks power at any cost. Uh, very well. I will judge it when I see it. I trust no one, but I trust the two of you less than this foreigner. We now know that the imposter approached each one of us at some point, whispering promises of freedom and power, trying to poison our minds against the one true king. Ugh. He only said what we wanted to hear. Pity one of us listened. Can you blame them, though? The imposter called out important truths. Is that an admission of guilt, Nael? If you would allow me to finish. I was saying he called out important truths that we must take to heart, despite the poison that obviously accompanied them. We would do well to address the flaws raised by the imposter. And I find it difficult to cast blame on any who thought there might be a smoother path towards doing so. And yet that path has led to ruin. We have merely exchanged one tyrant for another. Indeed, but our feelings on the outcome are irrelevant. This council must be absolved of guilt if we are ever to restore order to the Fey. They are a monster. They care nothing for the welfare of the Fae. Nor those of us who serve the Fae. Nor for the law. On this we all agree. The Impostor's plan should never have been carried out. So it would seem. If this council is to have any efficacy at all, the traitor must be removed from our midst. This is the law. Alas, we do not know. There is no blood, no wound that we can see. Not that we were able to investigate the scene fully. At your request, Onoriel. I cannot trust either of you backstabbers nor anyone you might call to serve us. Were those not your words? Ugh. They were, indeed. And the sentiment holds. Regardless, it is unknown even what could harm the king. Or it is said that no mortal weapon can kill him. And many have tried. The King has ruled over the Fey as long as anyone can recall. He has always been a guiding force, both in our world and our lives. Some believed he was too much of a guiding force. Mm, more than some. Yet, look at us now. The King sleeps, and our world is spun into chaos. Indeed. It would seem his life is more entwined with our world than anyone knew. Imagine what would have happened if he had been killed. Fare thee well, stranger. And do tell us if you find anything interesting.
Holy hell. That's it. Come and get her.
we go. <sighs> well, at least that's over. Is it over?
it's over. You're back. Have you found anything interesting of late? 
Tread carefully now, stranger. For Faelor is strict and swift, and you stand to accuse one of its highest ranking members. If you accuse one of us, you must have evidence, new evidence, to support your claim. The penalty for frivolous accusations against the Council is steep. It is death, foreigner, at least for you. Swift and immediate. Are you prepared to make an accusation according to our laws? Ah, so? I knew your usefulness was not a lie. Who was it then? What? Preposterous! I won't ask you for proof of such a frivolous accusation, for there is none you could have. What is that? It has nothing to do with me. Is that not your crest on the dagger, Onoril? Uh, uh, fake, then. The foreigner is casting aspersions on my character. Your character needs no external aspersions to expose it. Savan, would you please confirm? I do confirm. This dagger is proof of your guilt, Onira. What I don't understand is why. You have always sought refuge in the law. That law became a mockery, a facade to protect him. With the king removed, I hoped we could finally rule as was our intent. I could not know that imposter would be one and the same. I could not know this beast would prove at all resourceful. May you die a worse death than all of us. You have broken both Fey Law and our trust, and must now face the consequences. <laughs> I should not be grateful for the death of any Fae, but I am relieved. Here, stranger. Take this as thanks for your service to our council. Now, leave us, strange one, for we have much work to do. <laughs> <laughs>